Li Chang. Plenty more to come, including our conversation with uh, the finance minister of Indonesia and the founder of the world's biggest glove maker as well. He'll be joining the show to tell us how his business is being impacted by the coronavirus. And it's good news. This is Global. Well, a quick check of the latest Business Flash headlines now. Car rental companies are asking to be included in U.S. plans to rescue travel ravaged by the coronavirus. Hertz, Avis, and Enterprise say they're crucial to transportation infrastructure and will be gravely damaged as airlines cut services. The three companies are asking Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin to consider zero-interest loans, tax deferrals, and relief from fees paid to airports. Tesla has succumbed to coronavirus pressure and had resisted calls to close Close its U.S. plant in Fremont, but will now idle the facility just as a quarter comes to an end. The decision follows calls by police, city managers, and health officials about work continuing despite a shelter-in-place order. Tesla slumped almost 10% in late trade. Shares have plunged more than 40% over the past six days. Vaughn, the world's largest glove maker, Top Glove, reported a 9% annual jump in fiscal second quarter net profit thanks to higher sales volume. The Malaysian company sees even better performance in the months ahead as demand for its products soar amid the coronavirus outbreak. Now, let's cross to Kuala Lumpur and Top Glove founder as well as executive chairman Lim Wee Chai. Dr. Lim, good to have you with us. You've talked about how you're seeing exceptional large orders from uh, Europe, the U.S., and other countries... Well, can you give us a sense of uh, the outlook for sales at least in the next three to six months? Uh, Asinda, good morning. Good to hear from you. Uh, Top Glove deliver a better second quarter result for financial year 2020. And for the next three to six months, we can see a much better uh, sales revenue. It, 
could be uh, our sales order uh, receive uh, more than double. So in terms of uh, sales revenue uh, coming uh, next uh, three to six months will be at least uh, uh, 15% to 20% increase compared with the previous uh, year. Okay, so the, the outlook is uh, very uh, good. Yeah, a lot of companies are talking about supply chain disruptions. Are you are you seeing that at all? Uh, supply chain uh, uh, at the moment is still okay. Uh, although Malaysia has this uh, movement control order, so supply chain like raw material, latex concentrate, uh, nitrile latex, and the packaging material. Chemical so far so good, huh? Because uh, we need to deliver this essential good by uh, medical glove uh, to the uh, hospital and the healthcare industry. So we are cooperating well with the uh, Malaysia uh, the, uh, government so that uh, the supply chain uh, will be smooth. Thank you, Doctor Lim. Doctor Lim, you mentioned the. Revenue could could be up some 15, 20 percent. I believe you said. Is is this all purely due to the increase from the need? Uh, March, April, May, the order came in very strong from uh, Europe and uh, USA. So we can see the the requirement of our medical glove increased significantly. Do you see this as just kind of a, a short-term lift for your business, or, or once this outbreak subsides, see, uh, do you see actually a fundamental demand, change in demand? Demand, demand increased over the past uh, 20 years. It was uh, about 10 percent per year. <clears throat> but pump glove, the sale revenue increased about 20 percent. So the Revenue or demand for the for the glove will continue to improve. Although they over the past thirty years, it has happened about five to six times of all this epidemic or or pandemic. So every five six years, it will happen one time. So the demand will continue, even though the the uh, COVID nineteen. Uh, maybe settle within the next six months or year. This one, if you take it positively, the standard of health will increase. So the requirement for medical growth will continue to grow. Just like for the past 30 years, it has been growing consistently uh, uh, about 10 percent a year, but top growth grow about 20 percent a year. That's why top growth became the world largest. Uh, manufacturer of goods because we grow more than the market grow. This is a good uh, industry where the demand will continue to grow. It's more like a recession proof. Okay. Uh, Dr. Lim, okay. more and more so countries. SI Tom Club became the world largest uh, manufacturer of goods because we grow more than the market grow. This is a good. Uh, industry where the demand will continue to grow is more like a research and proof. Okay. Mm. Of course, this uh, uh, lockdown it seems that like the quantum demand theoretically should be better, but not as good as uh, demand for uh, medical gloves. Okay. 
So uh, we are more in a uh, glove business, but condom is a uh, small business uh, session to us. But uh, of course, the demand will increase uh, by the nature of the, the lockdown. Okay. What kind of increase are you seeing? Just give us some perspective. I, I don't have much comment on the condom, but I, I can see the girl demand will increase uh, much more. A year can increase from normal demand of 10% uh, for the coming one year, then they increase double 20% the demand of this uh, girl for one year. Dr. Lim, I'm just wondering, uh, I know you mentioned about the supply chain issues. Uh, are there any disruptions when it comes to shipping gloves to customers because of, of government lockdowns? We've seen lockdowns in, in Europe, uh, uh, the U.S. is starting right now. Does that change how, how you can export now? Do you see any kind of challenges on that front? So far, so good. Huh? The system, supply chain system, logistics is a part of essential service. So far in uh, Malaysia, in China, and uh, even in U.S. or Europe, the logistic uh, uh, sector is still working well. They are working fine. So, uh, so far, no problem on the supply chain for, for rubber gloves. But maybe face masks may be more challenging because uh, face masks, the, the production uh, capacity is much smaller than uh, rubber gloves. Uh, this medical glove, the capacity is big. Although it increased, because of the base is big, so the percentage increase uh, uh, will not be as bad as the uh, face mask. So the supply of rubber glove or medical glove is still okay. We still able to deliver to the hospital or healthcare sector. Not a problem, huh? Sure. What about the lockdown in, in Malaysia, right? Uh, I know they've got exceptions to sectors that produce PPE or, or like basically gloves. Uh, has the government order affected your production in any way, sir? Or even has it affected labor shortages for, for, your, uh, for your staff? So far, the transfer lockdown in Malaysia, the essential goods like medical products or food products, so far so good. Now we are still okay. In terms of labor, yes, labor will be shortage. Before the uh, transfer lockdown or the movement control order, Already shortage. So this one, uh, uh, because of demand increase, of course the shortage of labor become uh, more serious. So we hope uh, we can uh, work together with the government to 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 recruit more more workers, uh, especially both uh, local worker, Malaysian worker, and the foreign workers. So far. We are still manageable because we invested a lot in automation, especially in production and packing. So automation digitalization will help us to to, to reduce the the workers. But in terms of staff, the engineer, chemist, scientist, we have increased because these are more value add uh, uh, staff. So uh, we, our direction is to invest in uh, higher value or higher skill uh, employees. So of course, this uh, Dr. Down, Lim, uh, you uh, brother, uh, Top Glove, Top Glove acquired Aspion. Any other M&A plans? Yeah, we, we are always look out for M&A. &A. We are expanding our business. Every year, we grow for the past 19 years in our listing. Our compounded annual growth rate was about 21%. So we are look out for more m and I think we should be able to have some m and this year as well. So we are looking uh, forward to create more business, create more value and create jobs. 
also our business direction is to continue to expand the company, the the, the sale revenue and the profit. Dr. Lin Wei Chai, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Top Glove founder and executive chairman joining us on the line from Kuala Lumpur. I just want to break some lines coming through from Hong Kong Ex Express. This is, of course, the carrier that's owned by Cathay Pacific. So perhaps more troubles for them. They